We'd like to welcome in now Chief Patrick Kelly. He's the head of the newly formed Executive Fire Officer Section. Thank you for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Now let's start with, you know, first off, what is EFO and why did you feel like it was important to create this new section? Well, EFO is the Executive Fire Officer Program through the National Fire Academy. It's a graduate level program for uh, senior members in the fire service and it's a leadership based uh, research oriented uh, program. Uh, we have been in it, we were in existence in a different format, uh, but we needed to expand what we were doing. We were the National Society of Executive Fire Officers, but forming under the International Association of Fire Chiefs gave us broader range to be able to do more things for fire chiefs and executives and, and future fire chiefs. So we petitioned them and we were able to become a, a section uh, a couple months ago. So this is our first meeting this at this uh, conference. Nice, so you're very new. Yes. Well, a major part of your mission is helping leaders in the fire service navigate this ever-changing environment. Now, what are your top two priorities for the upcoming year? Well, since we're new, one of our priorities is to get people engaged in wanting to be chief officers and what is needed to be a chief officer. Um, we're looking at educational requirements, credentialing requirements, and working with uh, different organizations to make that a standard for the country and then try to get that out to the, the hiring agencies, the city managers and the uh, mayors to say this is what we want for our next executive officers in, within the fire service. What is the biggest challenge right now for leaders in the fire service? I think the biggest challenge, like you said before, is the ever-changing environment. Financially, it's not what it was in the 80s and 90s. Uh, it may, it, you're relying more on your education, budgeting, uh, working with politicians it's not you don't deal with fire stuff anymore you deal with people you deal with politicians you deal with budgets so we are hoping to be able to provide education for that function that is kind of new to fire chiefs because we're used to just dealing with people in the fires and and bringing them into a more professional way of dealing with city managers and government and just being aware that there are so many changes is half the battle yes uh, we listen to our members we listen to what they believe are some of the challenges, and then we're gonna to try to build programs around that, incorporating them to meeting the challenges, not now, but it isn't for the people that are chiefs now, it's for the guy that's 15, 20, 25 years away. What are they going to need? That's what we're trying to build. Very smart. How can an IFC member avail themselves of the resources offered by the EFO? Well, if you're an IFC member, you can become a section member very simply by just, when you do your recertification, check off you wanna become a member of our organization. Then we have uh, all of our resources, or we're building more resources on our website, and they can always contact us, and our contact information for the board is on the website. We'd like them to be involved. No matter if you are an executive officer or not, you may one day, or you may know somebody that is, that could use our help. That's what we're looking for, to help out uh, the next generation of fire service leaders. It sounds like you're on the right path. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to chat with us, and uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you.